Hey. Okay. So today I'll be doing the tutorial on how to bleach your hair because today I am going to be re-bleaching my roots and bottom of that. As you can see, the black coming out. Sorry for my annoying neighbors. Okay. So here we go. Sorry, they look a mess. Oh well. And make sure you are going to be wearing something that you don't care for because it will get messy. Let's say that. Okay. So for this tutorial, you're going to need some bleach powder. This is the Salon Care Quick White. That's what it looks like. Okay. And then you're going to need some developer. I got the 40. And then you're going to need some tin foil. And this brush that you can section your hair. You can either get tournament hair dye or if you want to get or you can get toner. If you want to make it brighter, okay. Yeah. Also need a mixing brush and a mixing bowl to mix the stuff. Okay. And I also have bobby pins and hair clips. Okay. So here we go. I'm back! Okay, so I just went to inspection my hair. Okay, now I'll show you how to do it. You need some bleach. You take about two cups of that. One. And another one. So you get this, that's what it looks like. And then, you get the same scooper, the developer, and get about two. And then you're going to mix it. It's just white. <laughs> and if it's not enough, just get another more developer. And so I use about three. And just mix it. Okay. Okay, so a little bit of that. Sectioning my hair with tin foil. Okay, so I'm going to be putting this on top of my head. Why 
Oh my gosh. Okay, my laptop is hiding it. Sorry. Getting some bobby pins. And just pin it. Okay, so now, let me take in this brush and section it. So I'll apply it first. Try to get it to your root. I mean, you're supposed to wear gloves, but I don't have any with me, so I can live. Okay. Keep applying it. See so all the roots. Take it, push it back, take it, and just go backwards. Hello! Okay, I'm back, but here is what it looks like for now. Looks like a mess. It's been like half an hour. So, I'm going to go wash this out real quick, and I'll be back, and I'll show you the second part of this tutorial. So, just keep watching. Be back in like two seconds. Okay, I'm back. So, now I'll be doing the same process, except this time I'll be using this Clarell hair dye. That's what it looks like. And I got mine in, let's see, what was it, 12GN. Okay, so I'll use about, let's see, I'll put here, a quarter of the bottle. And it comes out as this, like, gold paste. Uh, if you guys don't want to use permanent hair dye, you guys can use toner too. And now, just take the developer. Hmm. I'll use one and a half. And just mix. So it looks something like that. Really liquidy compared to the bleach hair dye. Okay. So now let me just do the same process. And just put it over what you just did. Get 
Oh, turn purple. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, my elbows is itchy. Not good. Sorry if I'm boring, guys. <laughs> Put it all over. So cute. Change okay, your the overlap and spread it everywhere. You, you, you. <laughs> Okay, just leave it in for about 20 minutes. And for the bleach, if you have black hair, you probably leave it in longer. And if you still don't like it, if it's not bright enough, you could just re-bleach it. But I wouldn't do it until like a week later because it's really bad for your hair. So, okay, I'll show you the results. After a shower. So, see you guys soon. Hey. Okay, so this is the results from last night. So, I'm gonna show you guys after I showered, but changed my mind because I look ugly. I was wearing makeup, so. Here's the finished result. Hope you guys liked it. And just comment. If you guys want to see any other tutorials, and I'll be gladly like to make it for you guys. And if you guys like this video, just like and subscribe for more. Okay, bye.